This may end up being a little on the late side, only because at this point with the legendary creatures, I'm still going through the Planeswalker-related ones, and a new Planeswalker that's actually a Planeswalker popped up, so yeah. Um, but this is going into the Eldrazi set. This is Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Um, if you remember, Ulamog was a nasty creature in the original Zendikar set. Well, he's back. He's still 10-10. He's still 10 mana. He's still colorless. He's still legendary. And he's even worse. I actually think he got a little bit worse than Aeon's Torn. I think they literally just went, hmm, how can we make it so people actually don't hate Aeon's Torn anymore? I know! Here's what he does. <clears throat> when you cast Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, exile to target permanents. Keep in mind, this means any permanent on the field. Great. He is once again indestructible. Get your exiling toys out, folks. Luckily, he's not immune to every colored spell on the planet. And, of course, his final ability. Whenever a mug attacks, defending player exiles the top 20 cards of his or her library. Great. That is... Depending if you're doing a 40-card format, which would be half, a 60-card format, which would be about a third, or a commander format, which would be about a fifth of your deck. Into the graveyard. Aeon's Torn is looking a lot nicer now with the... And actually, that is a good balance, thinking on it, is Aeon's Torn balances Ulamog Ceaseless Hunger with... There, okay, if it does go to the graveyard, you reshuffle everything, so it kind of balances itself out. But at the same time, you could probably use Ulamog to target Aeon's Torn, because Aeon's Torn, it's not a colored ability at all. It's not a colored spell at all. It's colorless. So it's that kind of weird balance, I guess. So maybe they were trying to balance it so Aeon's Torn wasn't so broken by making a card just as broken, but in a different way. <sighs> I don't know, I'm speculating here because I don't know why they would make something this demented. I mean, it makes sense. These are basically the Lovecraftian creatures of the Magic the Gathering universe. They're going to be fucked up. But, who knows. So, yeah. Um, and I'm hoping there are more Legendary Eldrazi in this set so I can do them with the old Legendary Eldrazi because I kind of do like the Eldrazi myself. Um, obviously my favorite plane is still going to be Innistrad or Ravnica. Um, although if you give me a choice of which one I'd want to end up in, I think I'd go with Innistrad. I'm afraid with Ravnica I'd be chased by every fucking guild. <laughs> but, I do think Zen the Zendikar Lovecraftian nightmare thing is kind of cool. So, until next time guys, I will catch you later. Bye!